Here's me determining the hybridization of each of the atoms in this molecule. Okay, that's kind of a misnomer. The hydrogen atoms, as it turns out, cannot hybridize. There's no such thing as p orbitals in hydrogens. So you're not going to get any type of sp3, sp2, sp hybridization with the hydrogen. So really, all we can look at are the carbons and the oxygens. Let's take a look at each one. This carbon right here has a hydrogen, a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and a carbon around it. That's four things. So its hybridization is s p3. We'll write that down. This carbon right here has a carbon, a carbon, and an oxygen around it. That is three things. So it is sp2. This carbon right here has a carbon and a carbon around it. That is two things. So it is sp. And I always have to be careful with my finger when I'm doing that. Similarly, this carbon right here has two things around it, a carbon and a hydrogen. So it is also sp. Right here, I have an oxygen. It has a carbon below it a set of lone pairs to the right, a set of lone pairs to the left. That is three things, so it is sp2. Now, if we're asked to determine the bond angles, we should acknowledge that sp3, I should write that more neatly, sp3 atoms, atoms that have four things around it, are going to try and spread those four things out as far apart as possible. Even though you might look at the way it's drawn on paper and say that looks like a 90 degree bond angle, please, for the love of all that is holy, don't make that mistake. It's not a 90 degree bond angle. We just drew it that way on paper because paper, paper, the board, two dimensional world. In real life, we're dealing in 3D. The bond angle around uh, any uh, center that's sp3 hybridized is going to ideally be around 109.5 degrees. Around an sp2 hybridized center, a center that has three things around it, is going to be about 120 degrees. Uh, and then the same thing is going to be up here. 120 degree bond angles between each of the things, each of, uh, that is this carbon, each of these sets of lone pairs around that oxygen. Now, for reasons I've discussed elsewhere, uh, the lone pairs take up a little bit more room. So the angle between each of these lone pairs uh, and, and uh, these groups is going to be a little bit bigger. The angle down here is actually going to be a little bit smaller than 120. But all I'm asking you is for a rough about. Around the SP hybridized centers, that actually is 180 straight line around both of them because the geometry around that is totally linear.